<coughs> well, it is difficult to take. Any any defeat's difficult to take because you, you know, you don't plan for that. Uh, you know, we've been in superb form leading into the game. Never thought we'd be breached four times in a game. Yet, um, you know, Exeter have had five shots on target and scored four. Um, on their day, they they took their chances and. When you look at the second one in particular, probably epitomises their afternoon. It's a fluke of a goal. Um, you know, I don't even know why, what he was thinking. Um, it certainly wasn't meant. And uh, you try that a million times, you wouldn't get it. So, what you can't legislate for that. Um, the viewers will obviously see that and think, well, how did how did that get in? But they've scored the goal, and it's given them a, a real buzz and a lift because. Uh, we needed to get back into the game as quickly as we possibly can. I thought the first half, I thought they edged it in the first 15 minutes. I thought the game plan um, was to stifle the midfield, which they did very well. But once we got the control in the, game, in the sort of first half, we looked all right, but we still didn't penetrate. I thought we were very slow at penetrating them um, and allowing them to get back in behind the ball. We didn't move the ball quick enough. Um, and then, of course, they get the first shot at goal, and it was a goal. And then uh, we had to react. And I thought uh, the second half would go out there with, with a good reaction. But um, to concede that goal um, early in the second half, albeit a fluke, it certainly knocks the stuffing out of here. And um, we start having to really chase the game. Um, reaction? Well, I couldn't have asked for a better reaction in terms of how the players approach the game. And it's nice to see that the actual fans appreciate the the effort that was that was given in the, the second half.